Y'all always ask me about the music in my videos, so I brought to you all the man himself, Sammy B. <laughs> <laughs> who happens to be my husband as well. You all have seen him many, 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 many times, and he is the one who produces all the music for my vlogs. And sometimes people ask, what song is this? What is this song? Can you tell me the name of the song? And none of the music is released. Actually, they're not songs. They're just instrumentals. Yeah. Sometimes he uses samples in the instrumentals. So it might sound like, oh, this is an actual song. But um, it's just an instrumental with some vocals on it. Nothing released. Nothing that you can find anywhere else. Sammy is a record producer, sound engineer, sound designer. He creates sound kits for other producers to use when they are making their instrumentals. Everything is for sale on his website, okay? You can find everything there, www.sammybeast.com. So I've been asking Sammy for some instrumentals since last year. He has yet, well, okay, he gave me one. <laughs> He gave me one, he gave me one that was so beautiful. Like when I tell you I love the beat, it's an Afro beat, can you play it? So that people could hear, it's an Afro beat, it's so beautiful, I love the saxophone. I've been using it in all my vlogs since he gave it to me. So um, since January, I've been using it. Sounds so good. Yes. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I'm obsessed over this instrumental. I've been using it since he gave it to me in January, I think. Yeah, I think it was January. Yeah. And it is just so beautiful. But I need some more instrumentals. I need some other vibes. So the other day, I noticed that he posted a video on his channel. It was a challenge that he did where he made a beat in 10 minutes. And I was like, hold on a second. You're making beats in 10 minutes? You can make a beat in 10 minutes? And I've been asking you for some instrumentals and you have not made me any... <laughs> Oh, you made me one. Okay, he's okay. made me one. He's made me one. I'm like, okay, so you can make a beat that quick, and you can't take ten minutes to make me some beats for my vlog. The people want some new sounds. They love your sound. They always say they love the music in my vlogs, and so mm -hmm. let's bring them something. Yeah, um, I think you didn't you do a challenge using your new sound kit. Yes. So Sammy has a new sound kit. It's Afro Beats mm -hmm. bundle. No. It's the Afrobeats Essential, Essential Bundle, bundle 2. 2. We're gonna make something really quick. I don't know, we're not gonna do it in 10 minutes, are we? Can you do it in 10 I minutes? Try, are we gonna do a little... try to, at least we can quit the demo in 10 minutes and then after I will maybe make another session to complete the instrumental. Cause, uh, are we gonna do 20 minutes? Uh, yeah, yeah we, can, we can try to see. I mean, it's kind of getting It depends on late. my vibe, it depends on the vibe, it depends on, on my inspiration, you know? Sometimes you, you start quit. You, you start creating something and then um, you have some big block that can happen and then you you have to take some time, mm -hmm. close the project and then get back to it later. But let's start and then see where we can go with this one. Okay, perfect. Maybe we can use piano or guitar. You can tell me which one you prefer. Is it the guitar? Yeah. And this one is the piano. Okay. It starts off smoother with the piano. And then now we can start yeah. adding um, Amaviano stuff to it. Mm -hmm. um, first thing gonna be adding a shaker. Hmm. Uh. You want it to start right away. Right away. <laughs> oh my, I feel like I need my glasses. It's okay. Wait a minute, the screen's gonna make my eyes hurt. My eyes <laughs> My eyes are starting to water. My people have never seen me with glasses. Y'all, I have to wear glasses when I use the computer. Let's quit, honestly. 
money bag. What is this one? performance is the pattern mm-hmm. oh, I do it I just chop this one right here that mean I can start I can take this one you see? that sounds crazy I just chop I, okay. I only use this part yeah one here. and then I I try to find other saxophone sample that sound closer close to this one mm-hmm. and then I combine them together okay Take it that when, time. when you when you do it like that, it's like you create something unique. Mm-hmm. Nobody else will have the same the yeah. same pattern as you, yeah. So it's getting late, so we decided to stop for tonight. We're going to pick this back up again. Not tomorrow, not gonna have time. Maybe Sunday, maybe, I don't know. We're gonna pick this yeah. back up uh, another One thing day. for sure, I think I'm gonna work on it because I love the I love what we have so far. I'm, I would maybe complete it and then we can buy, get back and then play the final result or I don't know. been a hell of a week here in Haiti I'm sure you have seen it all on the news seen everything unfolding and um, some people have asked me how has it been impacting me here in Ocap so let me just give you a little summary about what has been going on so last Saturday there was a prison break at the National Penitentiary and there were at least 3,600 prisoners in there. I'm gonna say at least because I've seen varying reports. Some reports say close to 4,000, but I've seen a little over 3,600 more than anything. So I'm just gonna say that. And at the end of it all, there were only 99 prisoners left. If you are watching the news and you see the things that are unfolding right now, and you just think, oh, this is just a regular day in Haiti. They always got something going on over there. Yeah, this prison break and you know, only 99 prisoners being left behind out of 30, at least 3,600 prisoners. And they were able to all, you know, free them. And without the people guarding the prison being harmed. Yeah. If you think it's just a regular day, think again, okay? That thing is a coincidence. Let me talk about how this has impacted us in the North. As you all know, I no longer live in Puerto Plants. I used to live there for about five years or so. I left at the end of June, 2023, and have been in the North since. I'm pretty far away from the West. Um, it takes about at least 
six hours now i would say at least six hours at a time going through palo central some people would do it in like five and a half hours but part of the road is pretty messed up so i would say at least six seven hours away minimum from the west apartment so i'm nowhere near any of this there have been some roadblocks here and there but for the most part i think it's just normal activity here uh we are able to go out um we cannot find gas though so now we aren't able to go out because we have no gas our tank is on e all the gas stations were out of gas uh so yeah that's an issue um but yeah pretty much you know we haven't really heard anything about the prisoners we haven't heard of you know prisoners escaping into this area or there being an issue with it so you know they might have been able to make it to the north but maybe they're laying low and there's no trouble so no one's really talking about it so it hasn't been a big issue so far so there are no flights to and from haiti at first i thought it was just the port au prince airport but ocap as well has the same problem uh even though we aren't close to any of this but uh at the port au prince airport there was a shootout i had a trip coming up next week i was supposed to go to south america and I would first have to fly from Cap Haitien to Fort Lauderdale and then Fort Lauderdale to South America. It's really important to take care of your mental health when you live in a place with such high levels of corruption because you will see all types of things and no one will be held accountable for it. And it's just really hard to see and hard to watch, especially when it's a place that you love so much. And so, you know, sometimes you have to kind of take a step back. Don't watch every video that you get. If it's things that really mess with your mind or really make you angry, make you sad, whatever, like don't click on every single thing. Don't feel like you need to be in the know of every single thing. So I'm about to make some bouillon, which is a Haitian dish that's quick and easy. It doesn't take a long time to make. When I say quick and easy, I'm talking about like two hours, y'all, because Haitian food takes a long time, okay? Haitian food takes a long time. But you can make this one in like two hours or maybe even less. Technically, I did start yesterday because you have to marinate the meat the night before. So that's what I always do. I always prepare the meat the night before. So yeah, that's day one. <laughs> now it's day two, <laughs> but it's not gonna take long. I'm making my bouillon with some goat meat. Whenever I make bouillon, I use more a piece than I usually would a piece of green seasoning. And that's because I don't cook everything in one pot and I need to make sure that as the meat is cooking down, I add some of the juices from the meat to the other pot so that it has a lot of flavor. We have some thyme, parsley, scotch bonnet pepper with some cloves, garlic, shallots, and a tomato. I don't use tomato paste. Instead, I use a fresh tomato, cut it up, and then I crush it with a little patience. You will have the same result. People in the north call this tayo, but other people in the country call it malanga. I grew up with my family from the west and they call it malanga. So I grew up calling it malanga as well, but now I say tayo more than malanga. I'm going to use half of two different types of yam. One is yam jaune and the other is yam blanc. I find it interesting that some people can peel tayo without using gloves and then other people like me, we have to use gloves because our hands will be itching it is so itchy
this is why when I'm making bouillon, I marinate the meat in a lot of a piece because throughout the process, I'm gonna take some of the juices from the meat and add it to the main pot because there's no way I'm gonna cook everything together. If I add this meat to all that water in the other pot, the meat will be so bland, barely tastes like much of anything. And so I cook them separately and then I add the meat at the very end. Now we're gonna make some boy. The other Caribbeans call it dumplings. It's very easy, just some flour, water, salt, and some apis. This step is very important because the bouillon needs a little bit of acidity, so squeeze one lime and add it to it. Definitely don't do this too late in the process and not too early either. This is how I brown all of the meat that I cook. I never use tomato paste. I prefer the taste of a fresh tomato. And even though it's bouillon, I don't skip this step because I like for my bouillon to have a reddish tone to it. I don't want it to be too green. So this step for me is very important. <laughs> 